one and three eighths inch long. Okay, in order to get that, you you take your ruler. I know this is elementary, but you have to do it. it uh, we, this won't be on the test, but you have to know it if you, in order to have a successful. Uh, if you're gonna build one of these, you'll you'll have to do this. Is what I'm saying. Uh, just be aware of it. The total length is one and three eighths, and that's a good thing about writing your stuff down. You won't forget it. One and three eighths. That's uh, three of those marks on this. That's how long this thing is going to be. So I I put down on this end and measure down here and put a pencil mark around there. It's basic elementary, but you are going to have to do it. That's what I'm saying. It's homework. Well, actually, the way I handled that math. Uh, I, I didn't put nothing. I didn't. I didn't put. I didn't do no. Uh, I didn't draw no lines and X's and stuff. I just figured that out. And you can do it on your ruler if you want to. Uh, we needed three quarters of an inch. Okay. So and if using using the eight inch scale because that's the lowest number we got in our equation over here. Uh, you would do it on the eighth of an inch, and that way you won't have no uh, point somethings. Uh, okay. Uh, quickly. Uh, three quarters of an inch, and you measure that out here on the ruler, and, and slide your little thing right down there so you won't forget it. One, two, three quarters. That's what it is, and uh, and we got it on there. So you need to add one half of an inch to that. Okay, just put that to memory, and and you need to move that down. That's a quarter. Move that right down there to a quarter, and it's inch and a quarter. That's what we we. That's what that's the figure we was working with. Okay, now. You have to add that eighth in there. Don't forget that eighth. That's the little thing comes out on this side. Okay, all you do is slide it down another eighth, and that's the total amount of material. Okay, now working with a bandsaw, allow yourself some salvage. You know, cut it a pretty good bit too long. Give yourself something to work with. And, and that way, even that way, if, if, if material is not a big uh, problem, uh, if you allow some extra material, then it, it does gi it does give you the option to make plans as you go along if you're working from your own blueprint. Even a store-bought blueprint, I have had problems with them before, and I end up and I will tell you, and I'm sure you will agree with me 100%. Um, uh, working with blueprints and it has an incorrect number on there. I mean, sometimes you'll be a week trying to figure out why it won't fit. And then it comes to a point where that all it was wrong is there was a the figure right there was wrong, or either or either you did not do the correct math yourself. And if you find that, sometimes you just kind of laugh about it and go on. But if it's a wrong number somebody else put in there, you raise cane. You know, I mean, it's going to happen, and just if it does happen, just pass on. Don't let it uh, impart the next project. Now we're gonna get on with this one. Back from that Harbor Freight band saw, made short work of that brass free machining we're talking about. The this this the piece that we're going to use, and if you remember that measurement was one and three eighths long when you add all of that together. Okay, if and, and just looking at it here, you know, kind of down through right there, that's the way I came up with the measurement to saw it off at. And if you're looking right down through yonder, this thing's a little bit longer than what the measurement is. So, so that that and that's perfectly okay. I I could actually stand with a little bit more length on this end, uh, and, and 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 that's the reason that I cut it proud as I did. Hey, I'm just pointing this out. To you, cut it proud, and you will not be, and you won't be, and you won't run out of material right here. That's about the only consequence. This this goes right here like that, and we're going to drill and tap in the back of this. Uh, if you're looking at it sideways, it'll be right up in there like that, in the back, and then then this one right here will be right up in the center right there. That that's that's the goal. Uh, that's what you're going to end up with. Then this is what we got right here. This is it. I got done, put it up there in the lathe, tightened all three screws, you know, one, two, three, four, move them around like that and tighten them up, you know. Okay, well, you can kind of visualize on this piece of material where, uh, well, you can actually see it with the ruler there. No reason to visualize it on a half inch, and I do have a quarter past that, so if I face that off, 
you know, it's not going to be a quarter. So, but that'll be ample enough. I'm, I'm going to stick with that one half of an inch measurement here. And, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to describe this to you and move on. And what, what I'll do is I back it up, come all the way down past the material itself and feed in. Uh, rotate the vice just the chuck just a little bit like that <laughs> and up there just kind of right there like that right there make them uh, shovel them shavings away from your lathe and uh, then you measure from right yonder down there to where your uh, tool bit point is at where it was going to make the last content and it's it's dead on it it's almost perfect right now but i want it to be a little bit long so so i'm going i'm going to you see did you well you can't see how much i moved it but some amount maybe 50 or 60 thousandths and and i'm just going to back it away uh turn the lathe on and make a contact cut and that way I'll know how 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 much material I got to work with. That way you don't have to measure nothing, just get her done. The next uh it's just uh, like a tidbit of information on this one. If you do not have one that you're copying, if you're only working from the blueprint, then you're gonna need to know this. The uh, this 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 right here is a factory one of these things, and that's right on there like that right there. It's got a hole drilled in it, and they call that the jet. The it disassembly, and uh, the reason that you need to know about this is we're gonna have to drill a hole through there in this whole thing. We're gonna have to drill a hole through there, the same size as that jet. Okay, I done I done already got them the number drills all the way down to number 60 and that's a, you would think that that was a small one but no I, I had to get out the welding or oh, there's some little bitty things in this it's one of them welding tip cleaners oh it's 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 uh you should have one you should have one the the drill bit i got in there now i put the micrometer to it and it's 30 thousandths and that's the only one that's when I got down to this size that actually went in the hole is what I'm telling you about it actually went in there with I'm gonna say that's the size of the hole 30 thousandths okay that's too big in in the instance that the and this engine ran to it got too much gas and this is the reason I'm, I'm thinking it should have been 10 or 15 thousandths is what I'm thinking that should be really, really small, especially on this type engine, and that's the reason that we can make the change. This one didn't have a, a gas regulator; it only had the air, and so you could you could only regulate. It was limited, but we have to get we have to feed it. We have to atomize the air, uh, kind of like uh, really good. And thirty thousandths is a really big hole, so. I may drill that a little smaller, but I'll tell you what, when you get to drilling these little bitty holes, uh, you want to be careful because you can spoil the piece immediately. The And that's the reason that I'm going to drill the larger hole all the way to within a few thousandths down here. Uh, that's where we're going to have to do the pencil work, the figuring. We have to know that. It's a really important. And we'll make that, we'll put this back in the lathe, and we'll drill to that depth, uh, and re withdraw that, and then we will drill through, I don't have a drill bit, oh, uh, well, and, okay, that will, oh, that was a good idea, I thought it was a waste of time, but to leave that little indention on this size, once that, once we're going, we're going to have to make a change. Note this on the notepad there. Leave a comment. It's a good thing that we are discussing this part or you, we would be amiss. Uh, the, the, I'm going to have to do it this way. There's just no other option with the equipment that I've got. Limited to the equipment. Actually, actually, I could do that with this 60 drill bit. Oh, that's too big. I'm not going to do that. I, I'm not even going to suggest it. Don't Just don't even... Mark that out as I did. 
The, this bracket, though, uh, what we're studying about that is you can see that it does fit. Now, this carburetor right here, that's off of a different engine of, of an exact identical, except it's broken. Right here, it's got a broke place on it. So I'm going to have to either take probably a hand grinder and set that level. Or I may put it in the middle of the machine over there and mill a flat on it. That would be the correct way to do it, is just put it up in the middle of the machine. You, I can index off of the flange right here and get it level, and then just run an end mill across through there. And and then, and then at, at that point, when you put this back on there, when I make a new one of these little thing, hold downs, I'll have to keep in mind and make these legs here. Ever how much I take away from level, this away. I can measure down, and I know how much, uh, we will know at that point, I'll pencil it in, how much longer to make these legs. And that way, that way, if you're working with only a body, you'll have success with it. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to drill that number seven drill right down through the under, and we're going to stop at the appropriate distance. And... Uh, uh, I might just do that by sight. You know, just kind of look at it like that right there and mark it off there with a piece of tape. <laughs> Fun in the backyard machine shop.